So Mrigang, you have worked in banking and risk management domain, which is a very uh, small area of work in actuarial science currently in India specifically. So tell us about your experience and what you do, what exactly actuaries do in banking and risk management and what is the scope of actuarial students in these domains? I think I'll break this long question into three small questions. First, what does an actuary do in the banking space? Banking is something very new where we have new subjects coming up in the actual papers, where people are qualifying as banking actually. So to answer this question, I think let's go by the first principle. What does a bank do? Or what are the risks involved in a bank? I think majorly all banks are usually focused on lending and borrowing. So as an actuary, we can help them decide, is it a good risk to lend? We can help them decide, should we invest here or should we lend to this person or this organization? By building models and scorecards. Moving on, draw a line between insurance and banking. We have something called reserves in insurance. It's like, what if a person dies, how much we have to pay for it? Very similarly, we have something in banks called provisions. What if an organization or a person where we have given a credit card that this falls or doesn't pay back the money? We have to keep some money so that the bank doesn't run off. There is something which a bank is estimating the risk that what if something wrong like a default happens? Moving on, there's something additional. It's not always what we expect happens. So there is a calculation for unexpected risk. As actuaries, we help the banks decide what is that unexpected risk component as the capital. As actuaries, we can also help with the fraud management. Have you used credit cards? So it might be so that suddenly at night, uh, your credit card is getting used and you don't even know. As actuaries, we can help build models where we can secure these transition and see, okay, if something is unexpected, something is in that less than 5% probability usage of their credit card, we as an actuaries can spot that using our models and that can be highlighted as a fraud and hence that transition will not go through. I'm sure you might have received a lot of calls uh, saying that, okay, sir, is this transition done by you or you might be receiving messages when something very weird happens or for example, you are paying for your IFO subscription for the first time because that's an unusual. Going forward, we can help with a lot of other things in the bank. For example, Climate is a very important concept now, a very important issue that is coming for the banks. We can help a bank take incorporate the risk of climate. For example, mortgage house or a home loan in a flood prone area is of a higher risk. How does bank incorporate that risk when pricing or when keeping its reserves or provisions? As actuaries, we can help with that. We can also help with other risks such as operations risk, whether a bank is functioning effectively. If not, what risk can arise and is the bank capable enough or have funds to overcome that loss. Another important risk, I'm, I'm sure you might have heard about great financial crisis and other kind of crisis where bank is not able to pay back the money that it has borrowed from the customer. So for example, a bank has a surplus of 100 crores and someone comes and says, I want my 10 crore back. If the bank lent the entire 100 crores, it wouldn't have any money to give back. As actuaries, we can help project how much fund it would need in future so that it has enough liquidity to meet all its requirements.